crafty friends. I had a couple of ladies in class today and I think there was also a couple that um, through the week were interested in the new Simple Frame 3D embossing folder and the coordinating stencil from Alter New. And um, I thought I would do a quick video just to kind of show you the different results that you get using the coordinating stencil and then just using the embossing folder on its own. So I've already um, embossed two pieces of card here with the embossing folder. But before I take you down and show you what I'm gonna do, I just wanted to say that with these embossing folders, because they are a 3D folder, you're going to need to play around a little bit with your die cutting machine to get the pressure right. So for me, um, I have a go cut and emboss machine, which is similar to the Kazercraft one. Um, it is different to the Big Shot, so you may need to play with your plates. But for me, I find I have the big spacer plate, I have a metal shim, and then I have a C plate. And that works for me. Um, like I said, the Big Shot may be slightly different. You will need to switch your plates up because you will find these 3D folders are actually, let's take them out and have a look. They're actually just a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see, but they're a little bit thicker than your normal um, embossing folders. So the two um, B plates are too much. So you may just maybe need to add some card shims, um, but just play around with your machine to get the right pressure. So this is the folder and there is our mask. So I'm going to take it down to my workspace. Let me clean up my workspace. Let's see how we go here. Bear with me, ladies. How's that? Can we see? I think we might be good. Let's give that a go. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. So these were the cards that I've created. This one here just has the gold wax over. This actually has the um, salvaged patina distress ink as well. So what I've done here, over there for you. I've already embossed two of my card fronts. I always tend to emboss them um, on a bigger piece of card. I tend to work on a bigger piece of card and then cut down rather than cut down and then try and make it fit. So if we weren't going to use our mask, this would be really tricky to colour up and get that blend perfect. You're going to end up with it not quite just on the frame. It's going to come off the side here. It's a bit harder to control. It's very hard to keep it within the lines, okay? So this is where your stencil comes into play. So with the stencil, This is going to mask off those areas. So we've got the mask for the middle. Let me just grab some purple tape to hold it down. Or if you have spray adhesive, two seconds. There you go. So I'm just using some purple tape. I'm gonna fold it back on itself. to pop it right in the middle whoops here now wrong one this is the one we need it's been a long morning okay and you can see how that nestles in perfectly so we're going to take that down as well. Sorry, I've got to get my head in the shot again. So let's just take that down there. I might just pop another piece here too. Okay. So now we're going to load up our brush and now we can go over this and not have to worry about getting ink 
on either side of our frame, we're going to end up with a really nice image, crisp image. So this is the new Salvage Patina Distress Ink. And I've actually gone quite heavy with this as well. Okay. And then all I've done is I've come back over with the wax. And you can use a brush. Should I, oh, maybe I might use a brush. Maybe I won't get my fingers dirty. Okay, so I'm just into the pot. And you're just going to over the top. My wax is actually really starting to dry out. You can see all the little bits. Right, it's time for fingers. I've got to get them dirty. There you go. And there's the difference with loading it up with your finger. Let's just get rid of all of that. Didn't want to get my finger dirty, but I had to. So because of the 3D, it's picking up just the tops of the frame. You can add as much wax or as little as you like. So let me clean my hands. Okay. So this quick, simple, easy. Let's remove this. <laughs> Just blowing off that excess wax there. <laughs> There you go, that's better. So there you go, and you have now got that perfect crisp. Oh, so we've just got a bit of that wax there, I'm just going to take that off. <laughs> that perfect frame, as opposed to this one here, trying to load it just without the stencil. You can't get that nice, clean, clean, crisp edge. And again, even, I've cleaned my finger, but I'll dirty it again for you. Even trying to go over the top with the wax, you can do it, but it's it's very hard to control. So that's, that's essentially the difference between using the stencil and not using the stencil. Um, you can also use this part here just as a frame. So... Let's have a play with that. Let's pop this one out of the way for a minute. I might finish that off and make a card out of it. Um, let's see if we have another piece of paper. So let's pop this here. Pop this back in the middle. I'm going to put the inside piece in just so I know that I've got that centre bit right in the middle square. And it looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. So now we can take the actual frame out. And I'm just going to continue to use this um, salvage patina colour because that's what I have. So let's load up here. I do need to try and get rid of some of that stuff off of the, oops, the card. Let's see. Ideally, I should have cleaned my stencil first, but no one's got time for that. So let's just mosey on, hey? 
So here's another way you can use this stencil. This is giving you a good look at the um, ink colour as well. So there is another way of using that um, stencil as well. Again, like I said, I should have cleaned that first. So there's that beautiful colour. And the other way you could also do it is by using this piece here. If you were to, oh gosh, I have got mess everywhere. If you were to cut this to your card base, you could use this as your mask. Let's let's have a play. Let's just do it, hey? Let's cut this down. So I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter. It's not very clean, but let's pretend it's all nice and pristine and clean. Right, we're going to stick this down with some tape. And this is, again, where your repositionable tape or your spray adhesive would come in handy. But that's okay. Let's just work with this, hey? do one more I think just one more just to be safe okay right so again like I said let's pretend it's clean it's not a biggie we're going to pop this down and now what we're gonna do let's get some scrap paper is we are now going to colour the background and the frame is going to end up white. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Am I in frame? So round circular motions. Again, this is the uh, Distress Ink. So this is the translucent look of the Distress Ink. The oxides have that more chalky look. Okay, so now we should have a nice white frame underneath. There we go. So there's another way of using it. You could probably also, let's have a look, because the little brain box is working over time. Um, Excuse me, miss. let's get rid of that. We could probably also put this back in our embossing folder now and do it the reverse way, if we're clever enough to line it up, and run it through our die cutting machine. So, can you see here where we're lining up? 
Yeah, just remember nothing has to be perfect. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, maybe not, I've slipped. Right, hold that firm. I'm going to move my go kart and emboss machine over here. And I am using first again my spacer plate, my C plate. Actually, we're going to put this one in first. So I put this one in first so it doesn't bend. But you do you. We're going to put this in next and we're going to put that one on the top here. And we're going to wind it through. Sorry, probably getting camera shape too. Right, let's move that out of the way. Right, let's see what we've got, hey? Let's get rid of those plates. There we go, look at that. So now you've got your white embossed frame. And again, if you wanted to now, we can now go back pop this over the top so there's a few different options with this let's pop that right over the top there oops sticky's on the wrong way let's go back this way um i haven't left myself anything to stick it to let's see how we go this piece over the top And now we can come back. We can color the frame a different color if you want to color it. Should we color it something different? Let's try something different. Let's try. Um, let's try this one here. I'm not sure if I have a clean brush. Let's try this crackling campfire maybe. Oh, that's pretty strong. Holy dooly, that's all right. It's there now, let's work with it. So this is the Distress Oxide as well. Oh, she's pretty orange. And we all know I'm not much of an orange person. But anyway, let's give it a go. Let's keep plotting on. Okay, so now we have our frame coloured. And we can still, when that dries, put some wax over the top. What colour wax should we use? Should we go with the gold? The gold always looks nice, doesn't it? What's this here? This is white gold. Maybe we could try a little bit of that. What do you reckon, just for something different? This should be pretty dry. Yep, okay. Oh, that's not too bad, look at that. Another tip, I probably should have cleaned that stencil of all the ink as well because I'm just rubbing that back in the frame but that's all right oops Okay, oh, let's see how we go. Looks pretty good so far. Okay, so there is your other frame. 
So you can see without the stencil, it's a little bit tricky to get all the details. It can be done, um, but yeah, not, not um, quite as easy. So I might turn these into cards and I won't um, make you sit and watch me do that. I'll um, have a little fiddle off camera and then I'll pop these on Facebook later on for you to have a look at. But that, ladies, is the, what was it called? It's called the Simple Frame Mask Stencil that coordinates with the Simple Frame 3D Ultra New Embossing Folder. So I think, um, I think I might have one of the stencils in store now but I do have these coming in actually Alta New is either due tomorrow or Monday and I think there may be a couple in that order as well anyway enjoy the rest of your weekend I'm going to finish off these cards and I will talk to you soon see you later